Hi everybody, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here. And in this video, I'm going to show you a simple way that you can convert your voice memos to MP3 files only using an iPhone. So the reason you might want to do this is because uh, the MP3 file is a little bit more universally accepted than the Apple M4A. So you might have recorded a podcast or a song idea on the voice memos app on your phone. And you may want to convert that to MP3 so you can email it to somebody or give it to them on a USB stick. So the way that we do this, we need an extra app to do this only on the iPhone. If you want to see a simple way that you can do it uh, on your Mac computer, I do have another video on that topic and I will leave that video in the description of this video. But just on the iPhone, we need to get an app called Documents. So if you go to your app store, this is a free app um, because there's no easy way to convert um, audio files on an iPhone. We need to use an online audio converter. But first of all, I need to get this documents app. So let me you just type in documents. It's actually documents by Readl. And there it is there documents by Readl. And if you don't have it, you can just select download. It's a free app. And then when you open documents, you will be presented with a screen like this. And this screen uh, can be switched to a browser on the bottom right hand corner. You see it's a little Safari looking icon there and that'll switch to a browser. And then this is just actually a web browser and we can go to any website we want. So we'll come back to this. First of all, we have to select or choose or just find even a voice memo that we want to convert first. So let me go back out to the main menu and open my voice menus app. So I have a few uh, test recordings from my previous video. So I'm going to select this test voice memo too. And I'm going to save this to the files app on my iPhone because it's hard to uh, when we're using the online converter, it's hard to pull them straight out of the voice memos app. We need to have it in the files app on our iPhone first. And that's quite easy to do. We just click on the voice memo that we want to save. These three little dots here will bring up a, a menu where we can select save to files. Then it's just a matter of choosing the folder within your files app that you would like to save these on. I have one called voice memos that I've already created and I'm going to save it to that folder. So now if I go out of the voice memos app and open my files app, which is right here um, and go to on my iPhone, you'll see the various folders I have here. And in my voice memos, these are four voice memos that I've exported out of my voices, uh, my voice recording app. So I'm going to select one of these to convert. Okay, so now it's time to use that documents app to access our online video converter. So we're going to go to a website called Convertio, I think that's how you pronounce it. Convertio.co and if I select go, it's a really uh, simple website here. You just choose the files that you want to convert and you can convert uh, web files uh, and, or pretty much any audio file that you have. And we need to go now and find that by selecting browse. And I'm going to go back to the, the main menu of the files here. So now we're going to navigate to on my iPhone and find that voice memo that we want to convert to an MP3. So let's select the test voice memo two, which is the one I just exported. And then you select from this uh, little menu here, what sort of file do you want to convert that to? Do you want to convert that? So it has a, a, a list. It's got the uh, free lossless audio codec there, FLAC, which is nice. Um, lots of options, but MP3 is the default. And with this little uh, settings wheel right here, 
uh, we can also change how many kilobits per second and uh, all these sorts of things here. There's a lot of options. So I'm going to select the maximum quality here by dialing this up to 320 kilobits per second. Actually, I might make it not quite that big. Otherwise, the file's going to be too large and the download might take a while. Oh, it's already four seconds. It doesn't matter. Okay, so when I'm done, I select Convert. And I, I've tried a number of ways. I tried a few apps and um, audio conversion apps and all sorts of things. And I found this is the simplest way to do it. So there's no, it's unfortunate that, that there's no easy way to do this. Apple don't really like MP3 files for some reason, probably because they don't own the patent for it. So now that that is converted, all I do is select download. And sometimes you do get a little... Uh, from this Convertio, you do get a little ad, but if I close that ad, it should redirect me just to doing my download. There we are. And this is going to save the MP3 file done into uh, my documents within that app there. But you'll notice that you can access that now through just the normal files app here. And if I go back to locations, um, and you'll see documents is there. Um, and if I select that and go to downloads, you'll see there that my test voice memo right here. If I click on it and get some info about that, it should say MP3. Beautiful. So there's the file. So now I have my MP3 file. What can I do with it now? Well, I can send it to a friend using this share button right there. That will give me the option to email it or message it to someone. I can also uh, airdrop it from there. So let me select share. So I can message it to my friends and I can also airdrop it uh, to my Mac computer. So I can then store it uh, on my hard drive of my computer as well, if I like. So. I know that that has quite a lot of steps to it, but if you really do want to uh, convert your voice memos to MP3 only using your iPhone, that is pretty much the easiest free, simple method that I found to do it. Um, so if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions regarding this video, pop them in the comments and uh, I will see you in the next video.